Hey guys, it is Brie from Brie Anita, and today I want to share an unboxing with you, and it is from Unclaimed Baggage. If you've never heard of this website, it's basically when um, someone loses their luggage um, at the airport, and they have about three months to claim their property, and if they're if they don't claim their property, then um, a place like Unclaimed Baggage gets sold those items for a discounted price, and then they donate some of the some of the stuff, or they'll test it out and try to repurpose it and sell it. So um, it's a good way to find like cheap items, but it's also a little bit bad because someone actually lost their items which I feel bad for, but I'm also happy because I bought some stuff that I've been eyeing. And uh, yeah, I really, I'm really happy I got a deal. So let's open this up and see what is inside. One of the items, I don't know if you can tell what it is through this packaging, but I'm so excited. I had ordered a Nintendo Switch and I had ordered, I was gonna order my mom one for her birthday. So this is an early birthday present for her. But I was looking and um, some of the prices were like 350, which I was gonna pay it, but I stumbled upon this website and it was dramatically cheaper. So I already have a Nintendo. I'm covering the glare, <laughs> but um, yes, I got the Splatoon one. This one's a it's an older one, but I have one and my sister has one. So I wanted my mom to have one as well. So like I said, I was going to buy her one brand new, but I stumbled on this website and I found one and here it is i'm gonna cover the screen so it's not a glare but i'll show you i'll show you later but this is what it looks like and this is the back so it's basically the same version that i have see this one's mine and this is the one from um unclaimed baggage and it looks really really good really really good um I will have to clean the Joy-Cons a little bit, but it's not bad. So this was $160 and it said that it had some use on it, but it's not bad. It's a little, it's got this spot on there. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. It's shining right there. Some residue, like a sticker was there. So I will clean that off and I don't even think the camera will pick it up, but there is very light, and I mean light scratches on there. That's okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna power this on and see if this actually works. And then also it came with a dual voltage AC adapter charger. I bought one more thing for, I'm gonna open this package. So it says Kindle Paper White. So that's like a little spoiler of what's inside. But I had ordered one more thing for this Nintendo Switch. And it is two 128 gigabyte um, micro SD cards. If you can see, I don't know if it will focus. <laughs> but they're the nintendo brand and i have one for my nintendo switch so i'm gonna give my mom one so she can download some games um but yeah these were only 14 dollars, i think for both for both of them so and the company tests all the products and they wipe the memory of all the products as well and then the very last thing that i had bought 
is a Kindle. This Kindle was $30 and it is an older generation. It's a generation four, but, um, oh no, it's a generation three, but that's okay because I just need to download library books and I already have an e-reader, but some of the library books don't transfer over to that e-reader. So I was like, for $30, we're going to try you out, try you out. So it is just a paper white and I don't know if it has a backlit screen, but that's okay too. That's okay too. We're here for a deal. So I'm going to boot up. I'm going to take up all the stickers off of it, clean these up and turn them on and see how they go. And I will come back to give my overall impression of this company. Again, it is unclaimed baggage and sorry for the people that lost their luggage, but since it three months has passed and no one claimed it, then people like me, um, you know, can get some great deals on items. And yes, they do wipe the memory and the contents off. So it's like a brand new device. All right, so I will come back in a little bit. Okay guys, so I am back a few days later um, with the overall review of my purchase from Unclaimed Baggage. Again, Unclaimed Baggage is basically just a place where you can buy a variety of different things and it's from stuff that gets people leave at the airport or on the planes, but they get three months to claim it. And if they don't, then a company like Unclaimed Baggage sells that, tests the item and then sells it to everybody else. Um, but the stuff goes fast and I'm pretty sure every Thursday they get a new shipment. Um, so anyway, I bought a Nintendo Switch black and it absolutely is magnificent. It works, it completely works. And I got this for my mom's birthday. You can see a glare, which is terrible. But there it is. The game in there that I have is Super Mario Odyssey for her. So I am so excited for her to play this. I did play it. It does work. Everything is good. I tested the... Um, memory cards too because i got 102 128 gigabyte memory cards um and they are nintendo brands from the same website for only 14 dollars. i just had to format them so it loses you know it deletes basically all the data that is originally on those so i was hoping to get lucky to have somebody's games but no I, I didn't have I didn't get that chance you know so you when you reformat it it does take a couple tries but once you do then it completely deletes everything on the SD card and then it it is good to go for here so right now it's only one game but I will hook her up with um I will hook her up with the what is it the online service because I have that so I can play games online as well as so she can buy some games in the Nintendo eStore, which is personally like what I'm trying to get into now. I basically buy my all my games digitally now. So there's that. And they do have games on that website, but um, they're about $30, $30, $34. I think that's the highest I've seen is about $34, but I didn't really look too much into it. But the Nintendo is in great condition, has some stickers on it, but 
will clean that. My only downside, which I'm gonna take a start off from, is that this charger um, that came with it is a generic charger, but it's supposed to be for the Nintendo Switches. It actually did not work, so I'm gonna contact them to see if they can send me another one. But I did charge this with my adapter. Thank goodness I did have one, but if I didn't, then I would have been out of luck. So I'm gonna see if they can replace this, so we'll see about that. But that is my only downside um, for the company so far. Lastly, I did get the Kindle Paperwhite. And this is the seventh generation. So it's the Kindle Paperwhite 3, seventh generation. And I got it for $30. Um, and they was having a, like a discount code if this was your first time being on their website. So it went towards this. So it got uh, like 10% off of this device, which, hey, that's good for me. But yeah, $30 for this. And it's not the newer generation, but pfft. I don't need the newer generation. Um, I have a Kobo e-reader. I have a Kindle Fire tablet and I have a Nook. That is it. There is a few light scratches on here. If you can see, which you probably can't, maybe you can. Just a little bit, it's a little bit, but psh, that's being finicky and I'm not a finicky person. I take a deal when I can get a deal. I did get the case on Amazon in order to get a clear case. You have to make sure you know the generation that you have. And this is the seventh generation kind of has this stand out part at the bottom. And I got a pack of stickers. This is what the stickers look like. You can see melanin popping. Yes, because this brown is beautiful. And this is the pack that I had ordered. So I will link that down below if you are interested as well as the clear case too. So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase and this does have ads on it, but that's okay. I, I'm gonna actually pay to get the ads removed. I know you can do a little um, contact customer service to actually get the ads taken off. I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm just gonna pay the $20 to get them off. And this is the book that I'm reading on there now, which is Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. I basically wanted to get the um, um, Kindle because I have a, Ken a Kobo Libra 2, but some of my library books don't transfer over. Like, so um, in that instance, I'll just download them to the Kindle. Um, so that is amazing. So this is what it is. And I also have Kindle Unlimited. Battery life is, is, is pretty decent. Um, I'm, I don't care about all that. I'll be on these devices all the time. I try to cut my screen time from just being on social media, which I cannot stand social media. Sorry, not sorry. So I just be reading all the time or crafting. That's one of the two. But this is what it looks like again. It looks really good. I put them stickers on the back. It looks beautiful. And it is four gigabytes, which four gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken, can hold 2,000 or 10,000 books, something like that. If you Google it to see, if you Google it, it will pop up to see how many eBooks can hold for that, that amount of gigabytes. So you don't have to stress and try to go for the highest one. You can get two gigabytes or four gigabytes and that is enough, okay? It's enough. So overall, I am happy with my purchase. Um, this was well worth it to me. I got the Nintendo Switch for $160 and I got the Kindle for $30. So check out Unclaimed Baggage and if you have any questions, please link them down below in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Okay, I am gonna come back really quickly just to say that um, I've been, on like book talk and it is just i love book talk okay i don't do social media but book talk i will bend that for okay but anyway this is book of the month and i subscribed and i used some i used a youtuber's um referral code and i got my first book for five dollars which is vampires of el norte by isabel canas and this is really good says vampires but really it's not even supernatural for real it's basically it's more of a love story okay between a girl and a boy and 
there's a war going on, okay? So cowboys, ranchers, this right here, it's pretty decent, it's pretty decent. So I'm gonna put my referral code down below if you wanna check out um, Book of the Month Club. They have a lot of different books um, and you'll get your first book for $5. So check it out.